The other one that I do a lot that I started doing the last couple of years, and it has been amazing, I'll be doing that forever, I think, is incorporating nature. And nature is an incredible healer. And there's something about touching the earth and connecting to the wildlife and all the flora and the fauna, the whole works. Um, there's something, the moment that they're out there learning math, science, with all the subjects, there's a sense of immediate calmness that comes. And also permission to go crazy as well, like go run, because this is a place to do that. But then they center and they come back. Um, I do a ton of outdoor learning. Uh, I would love to be able to do that more. And so I'm hoping to um, bring nature back into the schools. They tend to be very chain link fence and clear cutted. <laughs> um, and I would love to be able to bring the trees and gardening and uh, connection to what the bees and all that, because without being able to touch nature, the kids are not going to connect in it, to connect to it. And um, considering where the environment is going, it's so crucial for them to do that. And it also gives an opportunity for kids to love. And, um, and sometimes if they're nervous about showing love to another human being, they'll show it very easily to an animal or to a piece of some sort of nature um, aspect. So I would hope to be able to continue doing that as well. For me, it's less about telling them, more about showing them. And really, uh, in, as the kids, it gets, it's getting harder and harder. Um, and to me, it's kind of like, can you see that it's working? And when a teacher sees, oh my goodness, that child is very calm here, or, or I, I've had like um, nightmares about possibly trying to figure out how to help this child cope, and they're going, but it's they're working here. So what are you doing? Um, so showing them would be one thing.